this guy comes and puts these pesticide signs up. And then he comes and starts spraying. If I was in, if I'd gone in the library, I wouldn't know that this had happened because they put the signs up for like two or three minutes and then take them down immediately after they get through spraying. And I guess, you know, what they do is they water in a way that causes the water to um, form puddles. There's stagnant water all over, especially around the trees. So this is close to where I park every day, and I pulled in, and this big limb had broken off the tree. It wasn't very windy last night, and it doesn't have anything to do with wind. Trees drop limbs when they are overhydrated. And as you can see, the ground has been overhydrated in this park all summer on a massive scale, especially in this area. And one of the reasons is because they are, high, they are harassing me and trying to drive me out of that area. So it does more, and you can see the ground is just muddy, soaking wet. Um, also, the sprinklers are not maintained very well. They go out into the area where the cars are and stuff. But you can see it's just mud everywhere. Mud, mud, mud. And so, the, it, so the, the, that's why the branch broke off the tree. It also, there's also a mosquito problem. And I haven't been over there, but I've read that over in the dog, that new dog island, dog area, that it's really muddy. Well, they overwater everything. They and it's damaging trees, and uh, the mosquitoes could potentially be a health problem because there is West Nile virus in counties around Ada County. So, yeah, I'm I'm a um, I was a master gardener in Washington State in Puyallup, the Puyallup area where the master gardener program started. That's from overwatering.